You are now tuned in to Mark After Dark. Mark After Dark Season Motherfucking 3. I don't know the episode name, but it's what it is. Um, we got some special guests in the motherfucking building. Shout out to Raquel. Hey. Right Wait, I didn't have my applause ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, hey, there we go. There we go. Yeah, shout out to Raquel. Boy. Shout out to Raquel. And shout out to Kadeja in the building. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, ladies, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of the Mark After Dark. Um, this episode is mostly about kind of like learning from your mistakes and kind of high school. For a backstory, I went to high school with Raquel. And, um, interesting four years. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I want to hear about it. Uh, do you? Do you? I okay. Do. So, I love that we said the same thing. All right. So we, okay. It's a lot of people in the room. Um, <laughs> it's a couple people in the room. So me and Raquel were like best friends sophomore year or was that junior year? I feel like it was sophomore year. Yeah. But we were close. Yeah, we were, yeah, yeah. We were close. We, um, mm-hmm. we were close. We, were we had close. a falling out. <laughs> um, but, in my defense, <laughs> there no, there should be no defense right now because uh, after he says what him and these people did, you know. But it wasn't. Out the it window. wasn't. It wasn't me though. I just. Of course, you know what's crazy is I never knew you were behind it. I like you were the reason it. why. I was not behind it. Of course not. But you were the reason why. They I was did the what reason they did, why they did. And yeah, I never yeah, knew that. Yeah. I thought it was because a boy. Yeah. That I didn't even speak to yeah, yeah i was about to grab some tea but it's right here so oh, the tea is here <laughs> all right so me and raquel um we had a sophomore trip i didn't want to go on this fucking trip i didn't want to go raquel was like no we should go blah 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 blah, blah. and i was like raquel i don't want to go because everybody know you love a field trip i love field trips though. i didn't want to go everybody was coupled up i'm not doing that so i didn't want to go everyone had a person so i was like i'm not going on this trip it was for like dc i think right yeah it was dc um, um, so I told Raquel, if I go, do not leave me for a boy. <laughs> and we go. And Raquel had a situation that I didn't know about, but she, in my mind, left me for the boy. But she had her own thing going on, but gotcha. something happened. Um, so I was tight. You can share it. I'm grown. Really? Yeah. Um, we were on the bus. I had on jeans, light jeans and a light jean jacket. Mm-hmm. I sat on chocolate somewhere. So, of course, what does chocolate look like on your butt with some light jeans? Poop. So, I was trying to deal with that. That's the only thing I was worried about. And he's over here thinking I'm ignoring him. <laughs> yeah, no. I get it, though. I get so, both sides. And, I mean, I'm of 15. Of course, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm 15. I mean, that's just, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so the next, this was like a Friday, I think. Because yeah. I was like, so at that point, it was like, you know, it is what it is where I go. Like, I'm yeah. kind of over it. It is what it is. I went to this fucking trip. I didn't want to go to this trip. Now I'm alone on this fucking trip. Aww. Um... So the next, I think the next school day was Monday. So I was like, I'm not fucking with Raquel. Like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not fucking with it. I feel like we were petty at that age. And, but, but in oh my gosh. mind, I thought she just left me for a guy. High school was the worst years ever. It was the worst. It was, it was disgusting. We'll dive into that. But um, <laughs> I think that I, I should have like just been like, yo, you left me instead of just saying mm-hmm. nothing and kind of just being. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. That was weird. <laughs> um, to people listening, it was some guy that walked by the studio never seen them before a ghost um mm-hmm. so what happened so um, the i next definitely day, feel if you came and spoke to me yeah it would have been a totally different we would have been fine because we didn't like because we didn't even speak that day after like yeah well no well because no, you were act- tight. yeah you yeah, were you yeah. were annoyed yeah, yeah, on the trip annoyed. and i remember that yeah so if you were just like why are you leaving me i would be like help me like yeah you know it would have been different so and we're 15 yeah so, like you know anyway i get to school monday now we have a group of like other females other women mm-hmm. um we shall say no names we're gonna say no yeah i'm not trying to get sued <laughs> um and i didn't know so like we had you ever y'all see mean girls so like i had a mean girls conversation with the girls over the weekend like you know what raquel i'm just you know I'm, that's not my vibe right like and they was like oh like you know like yeah, it's fine like you know I, I but i told them do not pick a side because like i'm not a side person like i feel like i can stand on myself i can stand on myself mm-hmm most of high school is by myself anyway, so it Ain't wasn't no business. like right. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to like I never wanted her to get attached to some shit like that because that's whack to me. Yeah, <sighs> I get to school Monday. <laughs> and, um, 
Raquel, we I think I got to, I think I got to the fucking place first before you or whatever because we usually sit together for lunch. I don't remember. This was I in school. This was in school. Was okay. this the same day? No, nah, this was Monday. This happened. All I don't know I, that whole. <laughs> yeah, because I'm. A, we're gonna get your side after, like from your point okay. of view. And then, um, so I just well, she came in. I just wasn't fucking with her, so I didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. But all the girls followed, and I was like, "Fuck!" Followed her. Followed, no, followed me. Him. Oh, followed you. Yeah. Like, okay. They didn't talk to her or nothing. I was like, Dang. Well, "Wait a minute!" Like, I, I, like now we all, all have a beef for her. Yeah. And like, I never got an understanding of why they all didn't beef for her. Like, they all didn't fuck with her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Well, this is a lot." And what I was influence? just like, <laughs> "I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I did not know." And then, like, the next couple of days, like, I was just like, all right, well, you know, because this is what it is. Like, I didn't think anything of it. Yeah. Man. The next couple of days, the girls, like, they just kept thinking of things. They got her locker. And they, like, I don't ruined, even remember the locker. But ruined we'll her dream clothes it. in the locker. And, um. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> I think the worst part was when they got the flyers. I think that was the worst. Okay, wait. Let's go yeah, back yeah. to the gym clothes. Because yeah. I just had, I for completely forgot about that. Yeah. They ruined my. What were those little shoes that you wore for um for gym? Not not Tom, the little sneakers like with the three. Nike. No, they weren't Nike. They were like some skips, like Skechers. Mm, no, oh. Vans maybe. Maybe maybe, maybe Vans. Vans for gym. Not this was like two thousand. This was like twelve. This maybe? Was, yeah, this yeah. was a long time mm, ago. Yeah. I don't know. Like them little skips with the little two whatever little couple laces. Right. Gotcha. Okay. They ruined them. Yeah, they did. They ruined them. I remember oh. I went and I was like, yo, my shoes are done. That was fucked up. And I, again. Yeah. So, and they were so, gym shoes. So, like, I didn't care about it, but I have to go to gym. Now, mind you, I didn't say do any of this. I yeah. was just living my low life. I, and I was already, and I, I was already doing my own shit. Because the guys in high school didn't fuck with me because of sexual reasons or whatever. And yeah. It was what it was. So I kind of just did my, like, I already had my own issues. So I couldn't, I'm not going to dive. And I don't like beefing with girls. So, like, yeah. even when I said I'm not really fucking Raquel, I'm not trying to bash her. I'm not trying to attack her. Because I don't beef with girls. Mm-hmm. It's not that deep for me. But they, they really took it. They really took it home. They took it there. They took it there. Mm-hmm. And that was so fucked up. I think the worst part was that they, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jamaica Avenue. <laughs> In Queens? In Queens. Yeah. So, Everybody um, knows that. Yeah. Those Especially the Queens that get it. Those years. <laughs> um, so they got a flyer they put her face on it and like they gave her number and they just like they really what yeah yes they did at yeah. 15 at 15 yes they y'all used to the mouse drop in the room yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was that's insane that not only that it said that I had like seven abortions that I was having an um that I was I was dating someone at the time, so it was saying I was having an affair with his friend. Oh, Jesus. Um, it, it said a whole bunch of crazy things. I never things. saw the flyer. I never did they saw the flyer. Oh, I saw it. My mom saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Um, What happened? Well, should I say my point yeah, of yeah, view? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Go ahead. Because that's, that's the only thing I really have to... That Monday? Mm-hmm. Don't remember it. Mm-hmm. Didn't even realize that that was a problem. <laughs> he had from Monday until I think they did it on Friday. Probably that week. Yeah, that week yeah they, they just... did it on Friday because I remember it was a weekend. You had like four days to tell so me. So it like, was already, yo. it was already at that point, I'm kind of removed from it because like I, in my mind, I'm like, well, she's not fucking with me. So this is what it is. But like looking back at it, I feel like I didn't, when they did the flyer shit, I was like, all right, y'all taking it too far. Like y'all are just doing too much. That's insane. That's really fucked up. The and flyer like, also said something like, text me for a blowjob or something. Like that was, I was that getting, was I was getting yeah. pictures of penises. Yeah. As I'm on the bus, like, what is what? going on? <laughs> Not knowing what's going on. And I just saw you guys. Yeah, this I was literally Monday. just saw this you. Was, oh, no, no this was the day of the flyers. I saw all of them before they got on the bus. I saw every single one of them. I wasn't part of that. And they didn't get on the bus. And I'm like, why aren't they getting on the bus? Yeah. They didn't get on the bus because they had a plan. Yeah. And I had no idea. So, from the bottom of my heart, I want to apologize Aww. to Raquel publicly because... I feel like that's not what I represent. That's not what I'm about. And I feel like even though I didn't do it, I <laughs> did. I I could have I guess stopped it in a way. And um, you for were that, the foundation. But I but but I didn't know. But like okay, we have a lot of people in this room. Is it my fault that this happened? It really is. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, is it my fault that uh, this happened? I just want to say from my influence. from my point of view. I had no idea that he was even a part of this until two weeks ago. Like, I had no idea. 
None. Wow. I mean, but I wasn't a part of it. I had, but I had no idea that they did it for you. That day <laughs> is kind you. of like a that day is kind of like a blur to me, to be honest. Yeah. But I remember getting on the bus and knowing that she was mad at me, and I'm thinking, why is she mad at me over this guy? Wait, mm-hmm. who's mad at you? We're not saying names. Oh, we gotcha. Can say, you can say like a title okay. name. Like All right, we'll give them. We'll give them nicknames. We'll get. We'll get. Yeah, okay, Regina George, the I one of the group. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to give her, her that Regina. high of a yeah, compliment. Yeah. Maybe like, <laughs> you're me Gretchen. Yeah, I would say Gretchen. Not, <laughs> yeah. not mean girls characters. I want to say something else, but I'm going to be nice. Um, Be nice. Because I'm grown now, yep. Yeah, yeah this I'm was like, it. what, how many years ago? Yeah, I had to get over it because y'all... Y- y'all. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> you know, but yeah, but I... I'll be honest, because yeah. I said I was going to come on here and be honest. Mm-hmm. That situation, all right, let me go back to that day. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I thought it was over a guy that I would never touch with a six-foot pole. Mm-hmm. I thought she thought I liked him. And I'm like, girl, I don't. I would never. So I'm thinking, let me let me tell her this one day, but let me wait till the, like, you know, she calms down. She's clearly upset. Um, Get on the bus. Think nothing of it. I think I was with the two girls that I was friends with at that time. Yeah. Yeah. You know who I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And, um... We get off at the last stop on the 76, and we walk the entire Ave to go to the 9. I don't know, remember why. I think we went to the McDonald's or something, mm-hmm. right? And we're walking, and I'm thinking, why they didn't get on the bus? The bus was empty. We're talking about it. Like, oh, that's so weird that they didn't get on the bus because of us. They should have got on the bus. Okay. I get on the bus. So, you see, I stopped to get food. It took a little while. I get on the next bus to go home, and as I'm walking home, that bus ride's probably 10 minutes out, the longest. I don't live far. Well, I didn't live far. Mm-hmm. Um, I look at my phone. My phone's going off like crazy. People calling me, texting me. And I'm like, what is going on? So I answer the phone. I'm like, hello? It's a guy. And he's like, yo, where you at? Suck my dick. And I'm like, who is this? Hang up the phone. Right? Look at my phone. Messages going through. Penises, penises. Like, oh, word. You, girls are passing flyers over you on the Ave. So I'm like, huh? So I text the number back. They're just like, but how much for a BJ? what what is going on people texting me then people text me oh you mad pretty you're too pretty to be doing this because the picture they put was a nice picture i'm not yeah. gonna lie i can't take bad pictures <laughs> like, it was a nice <laughs> picture okay and you know back in the day they had color contact yeah, yeah. i had blue ones they hated it know, or gray fine. ones they hated it <laughs> um and a, a older woman actually called me and she said that she got a flyer she took a picture of it she sent it to me she said she tried to take a couple from them or something. She said they had a crowd around them. Wow. And they're just willingly just passing them out. And they're all dressed in the same color. Like, they they planned this to the T. And my mom actually went to the cops. She went to the cops. The cops, I think they went to the main one's house. A couple days later, I find out that she's walking around like, oh, they the cops looked at my laptop, but it's on this one's laptop. So, ha, ha, ha. Like, joking about it, laughing about it. Damn. You don't play with people like that. Life is not a movie. Like, I think people watch TV and they think too into it. Mm-hmm. They think they can do that. You watched Mean Girls and you thought it was real. At the end of Mean Girls, they yelled, cut. This is real life. Right. And I don't think them girls got it. And nah. you can tell by their lives today, to be real with you. Because that was what they did. Like, I live by you reap what you sow. Yeah. What goes around comes around. I believe it not, too. I think my um, I, I, my only regret in life is really not stopping that, if I'm being completely honest with y'all. I think and I've had a lot of mistakes. Yeah. But I think that um because Raquel was like, that was my friend friend. And like I I would have never wanted her to deal with all that. And once like they did the locker mm-hmm. shit, I was like, all right, I'm I'm not really dealing with it. Like I'm kind of over it. Cause again, I have my own shit with the men. So like I have, I already in my mind had the niggas <laughs> I had to fuck, fuck you know for deal with. So I was like, I'm not really dealing with it. But you know, hearing Raquel's story and hearing like back about it, it's just so fucked up. Yeah. And for that, like again, I publicly apologize, not on behalf of them because I can't speak for them, but for me yeah, personally. I, you know what? Let me take that back because I don't know about their lives. Like I don't know what they're doing. I, mean, I don't, I don't check either. up on them. I haven't seen these girls since graduation. I could care less. Yeah. Yeah. But I just still. feel like when it comes to what what you are as a person, mm-hmm. as a person doing that and saying it's okay, even if one of the girls wasn't the main girl or yeah. she was just passing out flyers. For you to do that and be okay with it, you're weird. Yeah. Like, as a person, regardless of anything about you. If I didn't even know you, I would say that's crazy. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that was fucked up. That yeah. was completely fucked up. And after it, I still had to deal with it because it just doesn't go away. Yeah. I didn't go to school for yeah, the fo- the me. rest of the year because of you guys. Because You got, okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you see how she throws me in? Like, I don't... 
I see. Uh, I see why no, you don't. Like, yeah. I see. <laughs> see? He's like, I don't even want to be associated. Yeah, yeah, like he doesn't want to be associated, and I understand. Yeah. And I had to forgive them, and I forgave them. I forgave Lamarck a long time ago. I had yeah. to. Yeah. Like it. It hurts. Yeah. It. It's something traumatic that happens to you. That no, was fucked up. And from the bottom of my heart, again, I sincerely apologize. Yeah. And I give like, you kudos too for apologizing publicly. Like, I yeah, think it's really... the show because like I could have <laughs> easily when he wrote me and said like, like, "Come on here, I want to, I want to yeah. talk about it." I was like, "I'm open" because. Yeah. I had no idea. And we actually spoke before and I was glad we did. Yeah, everyone needs growth. I forgave those girls too. I gave it to God. And it is what it is. It is what it is. What was your like healing process towards that? <laughs> really being alone. Mm. Yeah, because I was hurt. Like I said, I didn't go to school for the rest of the year. Yeah. And I was a vocal major. You can't really do what you have to do. Yeah. I was sending voice voice messages to my teachers. Wow. Like literally just trying to do what I had to do. And I think with my family... I got through it. Yeah. Without my family, I don't think I would have got through it. My sister came to the school a couple times. Yeah. I remember girls that didn't even like me in that school came up to me and were like, I'll fight her for you. And I was like, no, it's okay. I was like, it's fine. Karma's a bitch, though. Wow. I was like, it's fine. Leave it alone. Bitch. So. Yeah. And you know what? I feel like I gained strength with that because I went right back to school the next year and I wasn't going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could have had a safety transfer. I could have went to any school. Yeah. I went right back to that school. First day of school, walked up in there. Mm -hmm. you had to deal with it yeah <laughs> like it or not yeah, yeah it. like it or not so um this got deep <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's I, I really want to have her on because i really wanted to just show light and just a public apologize for my part in it because like that again that's never my um mo because i've dealt with bullying bullshit in high school so i can only i you know what i'm saying so i can mm -hmm. relate to that and um i feel like this all could have been avoided in some way if i just was like yo like you made me mad yeah. But yeah. I never thought that those girls would like use my issue as their issue. Yeah. You know, that to me was whack. That's insane. Though. That was very fucked up. Bullying is is real. Yeah, it is real. So yeah, but I'm also them, a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, and of so course. I feel like you know the fact that you were able to just grow from that, like mm -hmm. you know, look at who you are today. So yeah, thank kudos you. to you. Thank you. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> did you insert that in there? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a button bar, so like it plays buttons. Um, I'm like, where is it? <laughs> Yeah, but um yeah i don't have the headphones i'm sorry this is a low low That's budget okay. <laughs> um but yeah i um anything raquel that you want else want to get off your chest before we dive more into the show i don't know okay no. <laughs> i'm just you know giving you the floor like i want you to feel comfortable and you know sharing your story is hard and like you know i really appreciate you coming on here and being honest and vulnerable like that shit is honestly this isn't the first time i've shared it really um, yeah I was in a program called the Possibility Project. Mm, shout out to them. And, yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> and um, everyone in the in the group shares their story, and they put on a big show at the end of the year. And I didn't know they were going to pick my story. Wow. But we were sitting there, and every, every group is doing it, and here comes a group. And she's like, oh, my God, these are me on the flyers. <laughs> and I remember crying and running out because I didn't know it was going to be me. Yeah. But I was so happy that they did it because I was like, at least people can see, like, what I've been through. Yeah. And they can learn. So yeah. they did. A, they did a reenactment. Mm -hmm. Wow! They did a reenactment of their the situation in their eyes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was deep, but it was yeah, cool. It was, it was... That also yeah. helped me to, to forgive y'all. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> she keeps putting me in it. Like I, don't I had to forgive you too, Lamar. <laughs> Didn't How... even know it, but I had to. I have, yeah. It's so crazy. Um, all right, moving forward <laughs> <laughs> from that, but um, yeah. Again, I do definitely, definitely respect respect you as a person and just apologize for my part in that because i was fucked up yeah. and even though it was what was it 2013 but that, that was just wait we in 2023 mm -hmm. this will come out 24 so like 24. Um, whatever years ago that was you know i still yeah. feel like and what's so crazy is that i'm not even friends with those girls that. anymore i mean you just yeah, grow you apart told me that i was like wow yeah i'm not even friends with any of those people Theo, and, i ooh. speak to wow in our grade it's just you and one other girl yeah. I wish I spoke to more people from my high school. I speak to one other person that, that was in the grade above us. Mm. Yeah. Kanisha, how was your high school experience? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, what, what I mean, what did you go to? I went to, ooh, can I say it? Oh, wait. Say it. No, it's fine. No. It's fine. No. Um, are you familiar with Brooklyn? Or not really? Where I'm are you not, from? I'm from Queens. Okay. But, you know, okay. Okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of from Brooklyn. Too. Okay, that's fine. Well, I went to St. John's, so that's oh, like okay. East. Okay. That's, yeah, but um, I went to Bedford Academy High School, which oh. is in Brooklyn. So um, yeah, mine was a total opposite. I mean, not that I was like a teacher's pet or anything, but my mother was the one that would pop up and you mm -hmm. know show up in school. She was the one who was like on you know 
baking cookies on Saturdays and selling them at the, you know, the baking, the, you know, whatever it was called. Um, So, yeah, I wasn't really it's just like, you know, having her presence there kind of like put me in check. I didn't really have a choice but to, you know, do my work and excel and all of that. Like even till now, like my name, you know, is on a plaque in school. So, yeah, yeah. But. I was told I was I wish I had drama, but the <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, but the only thing I had the only drama that I seen or heard was that um everyone was like dating the same people, rotating the same people in the same like, well, you know, circle. York. You think so? Yeah. yeah. That's New York. I feel yeah, that's I feel like that's everything. Even mm-hmm. like public figures like celebrities, they're always rotating the same mm-hmm. people too. But um yeah, mine was honestly pretty pretty smooth. I mean the only really the only thing that I can't even think of anything. I can't think of anything. Damn. <laughs> like, I started I with had so deep. one yeah. fight in my whole life. I had and stories about high yeah. school stories. <laughs> senior, <sighs> senior barbecue. That was yeah. See, I didn't even go to any of that. It was, was on my birthday. All right, now you got to spill Applause. It. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the club. Like, oh, shit. No, I, I did, though. Okay. Oh. No, it was on my birthday, and I remember um, I had a thirty inch. I had thirty inches in my hair, mm. and I, he reminded me. Cause I, I remember because the girls hated it. Like they were like so like, oh yeah, she comes with her fucking inches. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I had an older sister, okay. and she's four years older than me. Okay, so she was in high school when I was in middle school. So mm. when I went to high school, she was like, "This is what you're about to do." You know, when mm. she was getting in between tracks, she took me to the to the salon, and we got in between tracks. Like, I did everything she did every time she got her nails done, you know, every yeah. two weeks. she was I was right there with her. And we had another sister that, at the time, she was in her 20s, her early 20s. So she was driving everywhere. Mm. So we were all three of us always at the salon, at the nail salon, shopping. So it, I was just living my life. Yeah. Like, I was just following. I was trying to be like my sister, to be real with you. Yeah. Like... I remember I came in with those brown and blonde in between tracks, and that was a bad day. Mm. That was a bad day. <laughs> I um. It was just mm. other than the rock, just because of the events, or no, no, just because it was just like, oh, you think you're cute, right? Like, mm. Mm. Take take them take them contacts out your eyes. That's right. not your eyes. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> At the senior barbecue with the inches, you guys yelled across the street. I didn't yell nothing. This is yelled, not. You guys yelled, "Fuck your birthday, bitch!" Wait, all right. What? See, you're saying y'all. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yes, you can. I did not say that. What all right, this is going. This? I wish I was still friends with these girls, so I had backup right now. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this high school was in Queens. Yeah, Bayside. We went to Bayside. Bayside. Yeah. Okay. Oof, that's far. Mm, I was never saved by the bell. <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. I, um, my school experience was shitty. Um, not shitty like. I just feel like the guys just didn't like me from the start. Um, mm. I used to wear Ed Hardy when Ed Hardy was popping, but I, I you wore went to Chinese food, y'all. Nah, nah. nah. Mm. I, but I thought it was like pop. Like I thought it was cool, so yeah. I was trying to just be down with everybody. But yeah. the guys just did not fuck with me at mm. all. So from there, I just was like, all right, well, I'm, I'm just gonna be a bitch then, because like I don't know what else to do. Like yeah. y'all, I'm really good at um. I like like girls. I, I for some reason like the girl mentality, like the whole like I don't want to say mean girls, but like. I love a good mean girl and I love a good pretty mean girl Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So like the aesthetic is cool to me. So like I was like well fuck it. I'm just gonna just be myself with a a tad of you know bougie. Yeah. And that's what I did and I feel like the girls I see it. I was like the girls (laughs) flock the girls was nice to me but the guys just did not like me. Yeah. And I had a lot of guys just gay this, gay that and at that point I was still dealing with my sexuality. Yeah. So like I didn't want to be gay so like I was going through that um I was also going through a lot of home issues. Like my dad was very mentally abusive, yeah. physically and um, physically and mentally. Like everything that was gay, I got hit for. So like wow. dealing with that at home, dealing with gay at school was like a lot of like shit. So like at, with your situation, like I I feel like I couldn't even if I wanted to help, I couldn't because like I was going, going through on. all my own shit. Yeah. So like. And you it's, vented to them. You yeah. confided in them. You didn't think that they were going to be like, all right. <laughs> yeah, like I wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't. I completely understand. It just was like a lot. Um, I I feel like I was popular, but for not the wrong reasons. Yeah. I think I was popular for just being. Um, I, I had a fight. I think that's what kind of got me more popular. I remember. I love yeah. a good fight. Well, he fucked with me. No. But looking back at it, I kind of started it because I would walk around and say, I, I don't like him. I used to hate him. the walks to the fight. <laughs> Organized fights. That's Wait, why. I, gotta walk mad far. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do an organized fight. Organized fight for those that are um, listening is when you like say I'm gonna fight you after school. I didn't mm. want to do that because organized fights means jumped. 
and I don't have no male friends here, and y'all gonna jump me and fuck that. Right. So if you're gonna fight me, you're gonna fight me in school. And he fought me in school, and he got fucked up because fuck you. Um, then he moved away. Period. I don't know what happened to him. Ooh. Yeah, I don't talk to anybody from him. I just feel like they were just shitty. And now everybody's like on dick because of the whole iHeart bullshit. And it's just yeah. like, leave me the fuck alone. Same like, here. He wasn't my friend. Same here. When we was at, like, don't. Don't don't try to be all so and so. Everybody raps, but it's just like everybody raps. I don't hear on the radio, and I'm here every day, so I'm just confused on where's it going. But you oh know what? Gosh, I need an umbrella for the <laughs> shade. I'm just saying. I don't. <laughs> this shade is so thick right now. <laughs> so no, the that. same here too. Like a lot of people, like you know, know that I work in music now, so I get a whole lot of DMs. Like, oh, like you know, can you listen to my music? Shop it around to the people that needs to have it. Like it's just so. I have no Instagram. Yeah, you don't. Yep. <laughs> is that on purpose? Right now, yes, it is. Okay, you deactivated it. Yeah. Right? Okay. okay. I might be back by the time this airs. <laughs> if you could say anything, though, I guess to your past self, I guess that's the question of the night, what would you say? Mm-hmm. From high school. From, From high, school. high school. If I could talk to her freshman year, mm, I would tell her not to make friends with everybody. Mm. I would tell her you do not need to be popular. Like, when people ask me, were you popular in high school? I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you were popular. <laughs> like, you did not need to be friends with everybody on every, mm-hmm. on every, um, what, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. On every sports team, like, you didn't have yeah. to be friends with everyone. You didn't have to walk around saying, hi, I'm Raquel, what's your name? Like, <laughs> oh, that was you. In freshman year? Yeah. Oh, I was friends with everybody. Oh. But I think that was the problem. You become friends with multiple people in multiple circles. Yeah. And they start thinking, well, if I don't like that person and yeah. she's friends with them. Of course, they're talking about me. It's like, we're not talking about you. We're laughing about this, but okay. Yeah, you can't yeah. be friends with every single clique in high school. You mm-hmm. really can't. You can't be nice to everybody, unfortunately. <sighs> I, I wasn't popular freshman year. So I didn't yes, you were. were. Not fresh, freshman year, I sat with, and this is no shade to the Asians, but I was like, it's no shade. That's where I sat. My, in my freshman year, that's where I sat. Oh, my Ed Hardy. Like, that's where I sat because they didn't, my friends, didn't have the same lunch period, so I, I didn't sit with the quote unquote um black kids. I sat with the Asians. But who was really popular? Because if you ask anyone, they're gonna say, "Yeah, I'm popular." Like, right? You're lying. They're yeah. not. I mean, I got I gained popularity after my fight, and then I I just started. Like, I feel like fuck. can't believe you fought in high school. I told him up, but I, <laughs> no, this is this is not no. This, <laughs> this is not about that. This is not about that. Oh okay. my god. The purpose is, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead. Just, just, yeah. I'm I mean, sorry. I don't know. Yeah. What, I don't know what. Um. He, wait, what was the question one more time? What would you tell your, would you tell your um, high school self? Um, I think to be a little bit more confident because I think I was the complete opposite. You know, like I think the fact that my mom was at the school all the time, like I had this fear in me basically that I didn't want to, I guess, like disappoint her or um, do anything wrong. So I just like, you know, stayed to myself. And once again, I was the complete opposite. Like I wasn't going around to everyone saying hi. Um, but you know, being on it, I don't know, being known as a teacher's pet, like I think it's cool, but it's really not that cool. And I think once again, it comes a lot from like fear and confidence and things yeah. like that. So I think it, I would definitely tell her to be a little bit more confident and I guess ruthless because, um, I didn't get ruthless until college. And when I say ruthless, I mean more so like staying out later without permission, oh. like small things like that. But yeah. Mm. Yeah. This was, was a really good segment. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was. I'm not, I feel like. Ooh, a weight has been lifted off. Look at you, Mark. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Me too. too. I've never talked about this publicly, for real. I'm I'm glad that you chose my chose my platform to be honest and yeah. say. Hopefully they don't eat me up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hopefully they don't eat me <laughs> up. <laughs> like I don't. Um. Mm. Yeah, but you were honest. Um, my high school stuff. I would just say not to give a fuck. I just think that mm. I care too much. Like I would go home and like be like, all right, you can't do you can't do gay shit. You can't do this. You can't do that. Mm. And I had like, I don't That's say a deep. boyfriend, but like. He was, you know, people on the side. You <laughs> did? My yeah, man, but he didn't go. He, he went to Van, so it wasn't like... This uh, is news to me. <laughs> but um, it just was a lot. Um, I even had a big-ass party. Oh, yes. For what? <sighs> My birthday. Okay. I wanted Are we gonna talk a cool about 16. I mean, shout-out to her now. Shout-out to Alasia. <laughs> but... Shout-out to everybody, because you know what? <laughs> no, not shout-out to everybody. Yeah, you know I, what? I, I, I and a lot so. of people aren't, so shout-out yeah, to yeah. you. Actually, That's true. That's yeah. true. It's the confirmation of them being alive for me. I don't know if they are, if oh. they aren't, but like, if they are, shout out to you uh. and Lord bless. No, seriously, I have nothing against these people at this point in my life. Yeah, I really have nothing against you. Fuck like, that. you did what you did. It's over, and God will handle you. Mm-hmm. If it, it. if if he, he hasn't it. already, I don't know. Amen. Not my business. 
Um, yeah, but shout out to Lasia. I don't, we talk like every here and there on Twitter, but she's cool. Um, we had a party the same day. Mm. She had a party bus to Hershey Park, and I had a party. But what's so Damn. fucked up about it is that we gave invitations out the same day. Like, what type of shit is that? But my stupid ass posted it on Facebook. Ooh. So I shouldn't have posted. I was giving out, giving out invitations tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm fucking King Combs. And then I had chains. And um, she was giving out the same. Like, half of the school had chains. Other half had fucking her invitation. It was, I was like, this is some shit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Fucked up. I always wanted to go to Hershey Park. I'm n- I'm never going. I've <laughs> never been. Wait, me. I've never Wait so did you go or you didn't go? Never, no, because I had my party the same day. So you had your party. I had my party. How but many people showed my, up? It was full. It was a good time. But okay, because I had other friends outside of Bayside, so like gotcha. most of my Bayside friends went to her um her party bus because they were like, I mean, it's a party bus, right? Yeah. To Hershey Park for free. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I didn't compete with that. I didn't. Have... Wait, so yours was just a party? It was a, just, it's a party. just a party. Just I a mean, party. just a party we is fine. Going to a party was a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Like we were young, and I rented out a club, so like Ooh. it was a lot. Yeah, he had like a party party. Ooh. Yeah, it wasn't like a like a. <laughs> no, it was like, uh-huh, you know? Oh, you were missing the stripper poles. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah but nah, yeah, nah. I didn't have that. But <laughs> it just, they they decided to go to Hershey Park, like most of the Bayside. So yeah. I think the next year, it was like, fuck everybody. Because like, fuck y'all. That, was, right. that was stress, though. I remember both you guys giving out the invitations. That was stress. So fucked up. Like, I, don't, I mean, I just I was so like, glad that I had my own problems. I need to have her here next. Like, <laughs> what, what, like what was that about? Wait, like, was what? that the same year or it was like oh, the next un- year you Well, came? unfortunately, my uncle died oh, that same time, rest in peace. So I couldn't go. Okay. But, you know, I was like, you know what? Thank God that I don't have to deal with this. One? Because. Were you friends with? I was girl? friends with both of them. Oof. And I didn't want to choose. And I mean, I if you like, had to choose well, now, who would it be? Now, if I had to choose, I would go to his party. Okay. Now, because he he's a real yeah, one. Like yeah, we've yeah. had conversations, yeah, we had we've spoken. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Party was cool. I mean, I just, I just felt that was shitty for her to do that. But I feel yeah. like, oh my god, Hershey Park would have been fun too. Yeah, <laughs> no. it, it looked like fun. It, I mean, from the pictures, they had a whole fucking album. That it part, looks so it was, much. You know, when fun. Facebook had the whole album. Yes, shit. they did the whole fucking album shit. Dang, it, they had yeah. huge cupcakes. Yeah, like wow. It was, it was so fun. fucked up. Is that the party was on my actual birthday? Like she did this on my actual birthday. Her birthday is like. The 22nd, I was the 25th. So she just said, fuck me. <laughs> I don't like, think she said that. Maybe it was planned. I mean, yeah, like, but something happened. But it is what it is. <laughs> it might have been like, it might have been out of her control. No. I was fucked like, that day. Yeah. So it was what it was. Um, but I mean, I didn't have a party since. I'm having a big ass 30th birthday party though. When? Um, not next year. Yeah, I guess next year. This is coming out 2024. 2024? So 2025. Okay. 2025. I'm gonna have a big ass party. I um, love that for you. Everybody's invited. <laughs> like, um, I really want Normani to be my date. So hopefully by you said then, Omari? Normani. Oh, Normani. So hopefully, I can connect that somehow. Hmm. hmm. Okay. So hopefully we can get that together. Yeah. If Just it's private, make sure you only invite people that you know you're gonna be around. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna have a, um, mm. a set section because I'm not playing that shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I was trying to get the connections I have, but then like, then you gotta get security. I don't know. Ugh, I lot. remember I had a big 21st birthday party, and I don't talk to none of the people. <laughs> That looked fun. I was like, damn. Yeah. I can't go. The place, I rented out the roof of, it's called Lost in Paradise now. Yeah. But at the time, it was Z Hotel. And I rented out the whole roof. Mm. And there was an open bar and like cotton candy and food and everything. Where do you guys fun. get the budgets for these events? Because the, uh, uh, the bank of mommy. Yeah, same. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it was. Um, yeah, it's past that time. At now. that time, yeah. <laughs> So I guess we can move right into Lamarck's Corner where we answer advice. We answer questions that people send in. Um, okay. Yeah, this was, this was deep. I feel like this is going to be a really good, you know, hopefully healing experience for people when they see it. And yeah. I'm sure. For sure. And you got two sides, too. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys, well. Wait, you have, they just have to answer. So do you guys, how do you guys feel about him? Do you feel oh, like yeah. Do you feel like it was my fault? Like, honestly. It's, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but like should it be 100% like I didn't do you didn't I visit 100% okay alright well it's up to it's now cool, so it's I mean cool. you know it is what it is it's never too late exactly. cause they're not on the show well I don't know what they're doing you know what you oh know what <laughs> Lamarck's Corner Lamarck's Corner where I answer all the questions you guys send me advice shade all that good stuff yeah cool. All right, question number one. What is something that men and women should do that you wish they would stop? I wish that men would stop commenting on females' bodies. Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's what I wish. That was a good one. 
I don't care if if her butt is not huge. I don't care if her <laughs> waist is like a refrigerator. Shut up. <laughs> Like, I don't care. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I it's know. certain things about a female's body that she physically can't even change that mm-hmm. a guy will say, shut up. Like, I do not care. This is how God made me. Leave me alone. If I, I want to change it right. for myself. I and change it. Yeah. 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 I respect guys that, that don't want girls to have plastic surgery. Because it's Thanks. like, you know, love me for who I am. Yeah. Right. Kadeja? Um, sorry, what was the question again? What do you want um, guys and women to stop doing? Dang, this is a good question. You know what's so crazy? When I I couldn't even th- really think about it, but um I don't know. That was a good one. <laughs> I would personally say just everybody mind their fucking business. You know? Mm, that's true. It's not that deep. Um also stop kissing celebrities' dicks. It's not that serious. Mm. Like the whole going back and forth with somebody over a celebrity you never met before, that probably nine times out of ten would not even give you a <laughs> dollar. <time> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. It's just crazy. So yeah. that's what I would say. Yeah. Um, next question. Uh, what would you do if you find your partner's friends or siblings more attractive than them? <laughs> what would you do if you find your your friends, um, your boyfriend's <laughs> partner? No, your boyfriend friend more attractive Oof. siblings than them like you find out that you got the worst one out the group yep <laughs> mm. you just gonna have to stick beside him yeah you gotta stick beside him you gotta be tight on the low right. <laughs> would you really though stick beside him if, the, if you like have a more attraction with the other person of course yeah because it's just attraction like yeah, sure. it's not you know? who they actually are yeah but then if you fall you know fall out with the boyfriend then you know on to the next yeah okay yeah but you can't hold me up <laughs> like you gonna go to friend after? <laughs> Absolutely, you're lost. She's Next lost. question, and again, this is I know this is some of these questions are a little sexual, but you can just give your input. You don't have to. A little to, spicy, yeah, a little, a little spicy. <laughs> How do I bring up wanting a threesome with my partner? I think just be honest. I don't think threesomes are like the worst thing in the fucking world. I think it's just be honest. But I do feel like, from my experience, the threesome thing it should be somebody I don't really know. Like yeah. I feel like y'all should both come together. And pick somebody, like one person picking somebody is just not it. I've had experience with threesome where the fucking person tried to talk to the person right after when I went to the bathroom. So Damn. Wow. Fuck them both, honestly. What about <laughs> you? Oh, no. So <laughs> it is what it is. Um that's a fight. I think before you could ask the question, you better make sure you're like holding up your end, you know, like of the relationship or whatever it is. Cause you can't be asking me for those types of questions and you're not like, you know, taking me out on dates, yeah. giving me gifts, like I don't know. I just feel like you had to make sure you're solid first yeah, before. But, yeah. Okay. And because of time, we're going to go right into, like, getting to God, you guys' lives. Um, so, your love lives. What's going on with that? Oof, I wish I knew. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh. Ooh, all right. And I guess last question, favorite position. CEO. Oh, Perry, I'm fucking, I know that's right. I, I know that's, that's motherfucking right. right. I'm using that. I had to do the CEO, hand clap yeah, for that I was one. Like, wow. Oh, I had to bring it back. Yeah, that CEO, one. Oh, that's, woo. Yes, ditto. Yeah, shout out to that. Um, Thank you guys so much for being here. I really Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having Any us. Any questions you guys have for me before we wrap this up? What you looking forward to? Like, what's your ultimate 2024 goal? Um, CEO. I mm-hmm. love that. I mean, you're already a CEO. Look at you. Look at you. I try. I try. <laughs> you're really doing. Try. Yeah, you know, a lot of these people do podcasts, but they don't do, you know, I edit, produce, host, whatever. But hey. I Listen, just put the call in. You've been like this forever. You have. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Same time, yes. It's perfect for okay. this. Yeah. Raquel, any questions? No, I think you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and again, thank you guys so much. Please let people know your Instagrams, all the things you guys are working on. Who wants to start first? Oh, oh, I don't have Instagram right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but... I am working on a couple things, but I really can't say right now. Damn. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll add it in or something. We'll just, <laughs> yeah. like, the video version, we'll just add you like your flyers or some shit. Whatever okay. happens, yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah. But if you see Turtles Papers in a smoke shop, support. Oh, hey. All right. Mm-hmm. That's Kadeja? fire. Looking forward to it. Mm. Um, You can find me at Sue in Progress, S U E I N Progress, exactly the way it's spelled. And then what am I working on? Just really being better. Just, mm. you know, in general. Yeah. So got to be better than you were yesterday. Absolutely. Facts. Thank you guys so much, you beautiful human beings, for being a part of this podcast. Thank I you. I appreciate Thank it. You. And just being so honest and vulnerable. 
Um, I hope you guys had a good time. And I, I really did. appreciate it. Yeah, I did. And that's a wrap on the mark. Yay. After dark. Yay.